Hey guys, I have some happy mail to share with you today. This is coming from Jill and um, Jill is a uh, new friend I have on YouTube. She's been a subby for I think a while now and um, uh, let me see if I can show you um, her YouTube channel without revealing all the information she has. Um, this is the stamp on the back of her card so you guys see that? That's also her YouTube channel I believe. So she made me this card, and she did show these in a video. I saw the um, video. Um, it was like, actually like this. Can I show you that properly? <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long day. So it folds out like this, and then there's a message on the inside of the card. And she watercolored this panel and the panel on the inside, too. I don't want to show you the message, so show you that part it's really pretty so thank you Jill for the handmade card and she also gifted me some stuff some happy mail she helped me get these um, ink pads and you guys know I've been buying some up at um, Tuesday morning here and there so she was able to um, help me um, get these so these are the rest of the colors I believe I don't have these are the pigment ink pads by the way and I do have a haul to share with you with more inks, but I'll do that separate from this video. Cloudy Blue, Peach Bellini, and Espresso, and then um, Denim, Cranberry. These are the Adirondack, by the way, so this is from Ranger. Lemonade, sorry for the reach across the camera. Lettuce, that's a pretty color. Cool Perry, so like Periwinkle. And then the last one is Terracotta. Um, and she also sent me some goodies in my package. So thank you for that, Jill. Um, I'm gonna share the goodies. Um, this is um, actually uh, the frosted fi film from Tim Holtz. She rolled it up in a piece of um, paper. And she also put this tag, which I can reuse for something. I'm not going to open it because, you know, frosted film is frosted film. And then she sent me this trim. So there's like a yellow rosette here, brown um, velvet um, pleated trim, and a gray, um, like a tulle like trim. It's really pretty. I don't have anything like that. And then she also sent me a, um, I think this is a acrylic in the dauber, distress dauber. Is this distress? I don't know. I didn't... Um, look at it closely enough and then there's a stamp in here too which I don't believe that I have this one so I was really excited she sent me this she's really cute I don't think I have this one so thank you so much Jill for this um, she um, racked it forward and then she sent me all these little goodies inside of this bag I'm gonna see if I can take it out so you don't have to hear the wrinkling um, I have a very large mess in my craft room yet again. She embossed that bag. That's really pretty. And then she inked it a little bit so you could see the pattern. Um, she sent me this template for the, um, I, the, the eye top for making buttons. And I don't think I have this one. I have the punches, but I don't think I have the templates. So thank you. I will take a look. I have a big bin of it sitting underneath something. And some of the, um, these are really cool pins because you can stick a piece of paper in here um, to make a little sign. And then it's a pin you can stick down into something like a stick pin holder. Um, and then some feathers. And I think these are spare parts maybe? Hobby Lobby? I don't know. I don't think I have these. The resin ones? So there's the stamp, and then there's another package of goodies here that she sent me as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and thanks for helping me get the inks. I'm crazy about ink, so if you guys don't already know that. I have figured out a new way to store my ink, and once I have it all set up, I will show you. Um, but I did find a video that I really liked the idea on how to do this, so... I'll get it all together. And then she sent me these buttons, really blingy buttons. And um, she said these were from Hobby Lobby. Did I open this? 
I had already opened the package because I wasn't expecting anything, but she, oh, that's right. She sent me these little, they're like, um, vellum, um, stamps, like old, old, old time looking stamps, but they, you know, they're the part of the July 4th collection, I guess, um, from Hobby Lobby. I haven't actually purchased anything, um, for July 4th specifically, but those will go well with the, the pen pal collection. I think it's pen pal from Pink Paisley. Um, and then this little metal bird. And I don't have this. I don't know how I missed that, but I don't have the bird. This would be a cute um, Christmas ornament, wouldn't it? It's very, um, like, natural looking, I should say. So that's what I got in my happy mail. And I will be back with a haul video. It's quite a lot in the haul, too. So um, I'll be back to show you that in a second. Talk to you soon. Bye.